Your whole life flashes before your eyes. I had such a promising career in life. I had a family that loved me. At least I think they did. Will anyone really remember me if I'm gone? Game over. <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are around the world to my fitness fraternity, sending you positive vibes and energy here on a magnificent Monday morning in sensational Sydney, Australia. I am 12 days out from the WBFF LA Pro-Am where I will be stepping on stage for my pro debut and I'm gonna take you through a push day workout focusing heavily on chest development. But before I start, I'm gonna take you inside. I'm gonna give you a bit of an understanding as to what goes into my carb up on show day. But prior to training, what I'm gonna be doing is uh, essentially going through the rehearsal process of the types of foods that I'm gonna eat prior to competition um, on show day. So I think it's really important uh, to factor in that you can look your best in the lead up to the competition uh, and then on show day potentially spill over because you're not having um, the appropriate amount of carbohydrates in the, uh, with the right type of carbohydrates. And what I mean by that is foods that your stomach agrees with. So I guess I'm doing a trial run just to experiment with certain foods that um, are atypically associated with a comp prep carb up on the day. I just wanna make sure though that my stomach agrees with them because the last thing I could afford is uh, potential bloating on show day. You might come in phenomenal condition, but if the types of carbs that you're having um, or types of food full stop that you're having is not conducive to your digestive tract, there goes 16 to 20 weeks of prep. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm having rice cakes. Atypically, you'll find this on show day uh, as a carbohydrate source um, after going through a depletion phase. Uh, and the scales have been brought out just to remain accountable. I'm gonna track all of it in my fitness pal. And what I'm gonna do is throughout the training session and banana fast acting carbohydrate again, uh, just high GI. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, ingest this, go through my training session and assess sort of the time frame required to get the pump after feeling a little flat this morning. One thing I'm mindful of is that on show day, um, Often your emotions are running right. You're worrying about getting on stage. You're worrying about pumping up. You're worrying about the tent. You're worrying about so many different factors um, that often you can potentially just eat because you're nervous and, if, and potentially spill over because I usually try to have a high carb day, a calculated high carb day on my show day and then be more measured and methodical in my approach. So I just wanna be able to track this and at least have a plan of attack knowing that when I'm there, backstage, this is this is the portion sizes I need to be having my food in. Other people might take a different approach, but that's where I'm at. Whilst I do like sweet food, I'm more of a savory man. So, um, my ideal sort of post-comp uh, meal would include steak, mushroom sauce, ribs, probably two servings of uh, sweet potato fries, conventional French fries, and. Uh, and of course, a Nutella pizza. Eyes on the prize, Robert. <laughs> so as I go through the final few weeks of my competition prep, uh, my carbohydrate intake, uh, my calorie intake overall will be reduced. And as a result, my energy levels will be somewhat depleted. Uh, fatigue management then becomes really really crucial. So when designing my training program, I'm conscious that I need to hit a certain training volume target, comparable to what I did in my off season, but I need to manipulate and adjust my program to factor in that I probably just don't have the energy that I did during my off season to lift heavy weight. As a result, I'm reverting to higher volume work, higher rep schemes, lighter loads, uh, just to factor in that I'll be able to recover quickly from that um, comparable to doing high intensity heavy work. <sighs> 
so with two weeks to go until show day and one week until I depart for LA, I'm really conscious that this second last week of preparation is effectively my last week of preparation. The reason for that is I don't want to be dependent on a ridiculous peak week protocol in order to bring the best package that I can to the stage. Um, having done this a couple of times now, I'm of the firm belief that you need to be ready at least one or two weeks out from comp uh, so that you can just cruise into show day with minimal stress. Often cortisol levels rise when you're stressed and you're micromanaging tiny details in the lead up to show day. Uh, and with that added burden of traveling uh, to a foreign country, unfamiliar environment, uh, I, I think it's really important to just do everything I possibly can now in a familiar setting, a familiar environment, to put myself in that best possible position even before I step foot on a plane. I am physically, mentally, emotionally taxed. That session was uh, quite arduous, but nonetheless, that's, that's to be expected when you're uh, under two weeks out from show day. So, gonna rest, recover, recuperate, grow, gonna eat plenty of food now, all in preparation for what should be an arduous pool day session tomorrow.